I'm Andrew Strom, author of the book Kundalini Warning, Are False Spirits Invading the Church? The stuff that's been invading in the last, say, 16 to 17 years, I believe it's the worst invasion in church history. So we've got a lot to look at. And my background is I've been involved in the charismatic movement myself for over 25 years. I've been part of the prophetic movement. I was part of that movement for 11 years. So I saw all of this incredibly alarming and disturbing stuff coming in uh, while I was involved. Now the basic question that we're asking in this documentary is why are these manifestations so similar to Eastern religions and Hinduism and the Kundalini cults and yet they're not found in scripture, they're not found in the Bible, they're not found in classical Christianity at all. <laughs> of course in Hinduism one of the most common ways of experiencing a kundalini awakening is through a guru placing his hand upon your forehead. This is called Shaktipat. And when they do that, you'll be infused with this incredible love and this wave of emotion. You'll fall down. There'll be all these manifestations, maybe animal noises, uh, joy and weeping and shaking. This is a kundalini awakening. And amazingly, it is exactly the same as what we have been seeing. Isn't it incredible that starting around 1994, this stuff could invade the entire charismatic church movement almost worldwide on a vast scale, and yet it's absolutely identical seemingly to Kundalini Hinduism. Now one of the very clearest signs of a Kundalini awakening has always been these Kriyas. You see this woman involved in the New Age movement, she's walking along exhibiting these Kriyas happening, involuntary uh, jerking motions. And the staggering thing about it is that we are seeing again and again and again these exact same type of Kriyas. This has always been one of the clearest signs of Kundalini that we know of. A friend of mine from South Africa who's done a tremendous amount of research on this topic says that Kundalini is like a false Holy Spirit. It produces even miracles and healings and fusions of love and power and energy and emotion and uh, all these kinds of things and yet it's the Hindu version of the Holy Spirit and it's not holy. Now tell me, how could this happen? How could this stuff invade the whole charismatic movement on such a scale? How could these leaders, these big leaders, support it? And how on earth are we supposed to turn around such an invasion? 